35, 60% chance of rain today. If you're where we are, we're about uh, Ben White and South Congress. You've already seen plenty of rain today. I want to remind you throughout this holiday weekend, now we've got the day off on Monday. So you'll be listening to Fox Sports Radio and, uh, you know, Stephen A. Smith Show, Dan Patrick, Jim Rome, the whole bit. But we'll be back Tuesday morning. But until we come back, we want you to go to LonghornStation.com and vote as we spend the month of July trying to comprise the greatest Dallas Cowboys team of all time. And we're starting with inside linebacker Leroy Jordan, Bob Brunig, Robert Jones, Ken Norton Jr., Eugene Lockhart. Those are the five finalists. You'll find the list at LonghornStation.com. Cast your vote. You can certainly vote more than once. Uh, and it'll be up throughout the weekend. So, And speaking of great, the defensive players. A lifetime Longhorn in studio with us right now. The pride of Snyder, Texas. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and a former, not only a lifetime Longhorn, but a Lombardi, Lombardi, right? Yes. Lombardi trophy winner? Yes. The great Tony DeGray. Good morning, Tony. Well, well thank you for having me. Good morning to you guys. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's been a long, and, and may I say, you do not look your age. Well, I, I appreciate agree. that. You look, you, you look much older. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the locker room. <laughs> no, you, that's amazing. I, I had to do a double take when I was reminding myself because we, we're about we're about right there. That's right. about the you know. I looked. I said, "Is he really? Yeah, he looks good. <laughs> he must be living right." <laughs> well, speaking of living, where are you? What are you doing these days? Well, I have a business that's called Iron and Explosion. It's strength and conditioning for uh, Central Texas athletes. Uh, we got to get that mic closer to you. There so, we go. Okay. so soft spoken, okay. man. <laughs> <laughs> I have okay. I have a business that's called Iron and Explosion, and, and it, it revolves around strength and conditioning for uh, young Central Texas athletes as well as uh, non-athletes. And mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing that since t uh, 2005, and really enjoy it, and, and love to see people make a uh, transition in their body. He's looking at me kind of hard right now. <laughs> Look, I'm happy, okay? <laughs> you know, but, but the one thing is uh, that, that uh, you know, as, as, uh, as a player who's played at Texas, uh, much like as you have as well, you know, that it's interesting, especially here in uh, this area, that lifetime Longhorns like yourself, uh, we love being involved in this community in particular. What, I mean, you could have lived anywhere in the country. You chose here, now you're serving here, you're helping people meet their goals as far as fitness level is concerned, which that's not always an easy thing to do. I mean, as athletes, we know how difficult it is. Uh, we got paid oh, to keep our bodies fit, but there are some people out there that just have a goal, and personal goals, and you can certainly help them reach those, correct? Yes, absolutely. I, uh, with, with the instructions and all the teaching that I've got that was implemented when I was uh, playing as well as uh, when I got outside of it, uh, I think that uh, more importantly is just teaching the right ways of lifting. I think uh, too many times, especially with some of these younger athletes, that uh, they're taught some bad habits. So those are the things that I try to uh, work on and, and try to perfect for these young men and young ladies. Now, I'm assuming during throughout that time also, though, people come up to you and say, hey, well, you know, uh, you're a lifetime Longhorn. I mean, hey, can you help me get a scholarship to Texas? <laughs> you know, that, I'm sure that comes up along the way, and also some of the great and you know, some of the memorable moments you created here on Forty Acres for sure. Yes, I do get that quite a bit from the dads. Uh, you know, they, they first thing they ask is, "Do you think you can get us on at the University of Texas?" Yeah. I said, uh, uh, "No, I can help you try to get there, but, there's, <laughs> but the rest of it's got to come from that young I individual." Agree. I so, agree. Uh, I said, I, I can give you the uh, the key to maybe perhaps to be able to start the vehicle, but I can't drive it for you. Indeed. And, uh, you know, I know also that, that it's not just about um, you training um, athletes or men in general, but, but you also do have a division of your company, Iron and Explosion, since you've been working on since 2005, where it also um, is, is strongly suited for, for women as well. Absolutely. And, and, correct. And, and you have, uh, you know, you have a, a person who's in charge of that as well. Yes. And uh, yes, and and Amy does a great job with working with these, uh, and and uh, and I'd like to you know say that the misconception is is because you know obviously you know I'm a big guy and everything that the first thing these uh, ladies say we don't want to be built like a football player, and I said I don't want to look at you. As a football player. <laughs> <laughs> nice comeback, <laughs> nice comeback. <laughs> so, so I want to get rid of the uh, stigma and the persona that. Uh, Yes, we, we know that what ladies are looking for, that's tone and being fit. And so we work in those areas as well, and, and, and Amy can testify that as well. And that's exactly what uh, Amy, who also joined us here, um, Tony DeGray, Lifetime Longhorn, as well as Amy, who's a part of uh, Iron and Explosion, and they help people meet their personal goals when it comes to training. And Amy, you know, 
clearly you look like you train, but there are people out there who, who probably come to you for inspiration also, uh, women in, in particular, who are looking for ways that, you know, and I mean, because trust me, and, and right now it's summertime. What woman is not trying to get ready for that bathing suit? So, Well, actually, I just started working out. I've actually just started. Um, Coach has been training me. and so, Nice. Yeah, so actually. Well, he's I, doing a good job. I just, <laughs> <laughs> so actually, I, I've just started, and um, and it's funny. I was actually at a, at a work event, and um, one of my coworkers, I reached for something, and I was uh, wearing a sleeveless dress, and, and she noticed my arms already. Your, your, your swollenness, huh? Your, your, yeah. your guns. I'm going to say, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's already working, and uh, it's been, I guess, about a month right now that I've been working out with Coach, and it's already made a difference, so I've been pretty happy about it. Swollenness, that's a technical term. That's uh, Well, you know, we make up words for all the time. Yes, we do. And yeah, we swollenness is, I probably just made that up. Yeah. Now, Tony, when you played at Texas, and I, I asked you this during the break, so I know I'm not asking you this the first time. I remember at the time there was a lot of... Uh, uh, reporting and a lot of feature uh, stories that were done about you and your artistic ability, artistic with an R, um, uh, you know, yeah. painting, drawing, stuff like that. Now, do you still, because you were really, I mean, really, that was the story. It was like, look at this big monster of a man, <laughs> yeah. how delicate he is with a brush. I mean, talk about your, your, your prowess there in, in the terms of art. Uh, well, I actually discovered it when I was in eighth grade when I got sent to the... Uh, principal's office. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, I was sort of the class clown, so I drew, I drew a picture of, uh, um, the, at the time, my math professor, and uh, he didn't find it very amusing because I was disrupting the class, but as we were walking to the uh, office, he goes, I have to admit, that's pretty good. <laughs> he, he, he goes, you just shouldn't have disrupted the class, and so when the principal saw it, he just started laughing, and, and and that's when he said, maybe you should think about maybe a career in art. And at that time, when you're in eighth grade, the last thing you want to do is think of yourself as an artist because, you know, let's be honest about it, and I don't want to fan or step on anyone's toes. That's probably not the, uh, if you look at me, you probably wouldn't stereotype me as an artist. But, uh, True. But once I got into to high school and I knew I had an opportunity to, to uh, have to get a scholarship and mm -hmm. my counselor sat down and talked to me and he talked to the art instructors and said that maybe I had a future in that as well. And so that's where it kind of just started and um, I started to uh, fall in love with it. That's one of the reasons why I fell in love with the University of Texas, not just with the football tradition, which goes without saying, but also with the fine arts department. And at the time it was Dr. Charles Reckle who was my uh, associate dean that really got me in the right direction. Hmm. So you you do you still you still do art? You still that what do you do art? What's the what am I looking for? You still paint? Do you, what's your, your Yes your I do. Yes discipline? I do. Yes I do. I, I try to discipline myself to, to ha find time to do it because it is time consuming mm -hmm. and it's one of those things that's like anything else, it's mental. If I'm not mentally in there, I'm not gonna be very well at it. Well I'm a, I'm a, no no pressure and no timetable. You have to give us a piece of art for this studio. Okay. That would be awesome. Yeah, but it's got to have your name on it. Of course. Okay. okay? And I don't care what it is or when it is. Okay. Okay. Cool. You have a lifetime to wait for it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lifetime longhorns that we interview. We can wait a lifetime for art. Absolutely. Tony the Great, our in studio guest. We got one more segment with Tony and then uh, one more segment for the week before we send you to the Dan Patrick Show again. All time Dallas Cowboys team awaits your vote. Find it now at longhornstation.com.